Hosanna to the name of the Most High God. The Lord bless you. The face of the Lord shine upon you. This is your brother Bernard and I welcome you to another edition of our daily devotion. Let us see the book of Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21. Your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, This is the way. Walk in it. Whenever you turn to the right hand, or whenever you turn to the left, the Lord bless the reading of his word in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to speak briefly on what I have captioned, how to access divine direction, or better call it, how to walk in divine direction. It is very important to always know the opinion of God about matters and issues concerning us. Don't assume anything. Don't take any step without knowing the plan of God. Always ask Him. He said, you shall hear a word behind you saying, this is the way. This is the way. That means there is a specific way. No wonder the Bible says there is a way that seems right to a man, but the end thereof is destruction. But there is a way. That is the way of God. That is the way of life. So it is very important to always seek the face of God concerning issues that pertain to us so we can walk safely on the path of destiny. Lord, is this man that wants to marry me your plan for me? Don't be carried away by infatuation. Seek to know God's opinion. Seek to know the plan of God for that woman that you, you've seen, you've admired. But we draw a little bit and ask God, Lord, is this the woman you want me to marry? Is this the job that you want me to take? Is this job your plan for me? Lord, should I move out of this nation? Should I move out of this city to another city? If yes, which city should I go to? Lord, should I move from this house to another house? Should I move from this apartment to another apartment? If so, where is the location? Show me the location and I bet you God will always come through to give you direction, to show you where to go for your own safety. I remember when I came here newly and I was offered a job and I said to the person, I said, give me time to pray about it. I took maybe a few days to pray about it, to know the mind of God. And I had that inner peace that I should accept the offer. I accepted the offer. Guess what happened? There was no pandemic at the time. Pandemic came. Our company did not shut down. Other companies were shut down. So it means if I didn't inquire of the Lord to know his mind, I would have been jobless and in financial struggle at that at the period of time. But thank God for inquiry. It is very, very important to know the mind of God, to know the opinion of God concerning any matter, no matter how small it is. It is very important to seek to know. Don't accept or believe what people are telling you about someone else. Go to God and say, Lord, show me. Who is this person? Who is this man? Who is this woman? There are some of us who are criticizing some men of God that this one is fake, that one is fake. We have never taken one minute to go before the Lord and say, Lord, show me who is this person? Who is this man? Is this man your servant? If you do that, God will show you. This is the word of the Lord for today. It is me, again, your brother Bernard. I see you soon as the Lord liveth. Stay under the canopy of God's grace and His mercy. Remember, always inquire of the Lord before you take any step for your own safety. Shalom.